Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another awesome video. Obviously, jam-packed with value added information. Now guys, if you don't have a pen and a paper for today's session, you're going to need a pen and a paper because we're gonna get through, first of all, what discretionary trading is, what systematic trading is, and then I'm gonna show you how you can actually benefit from the Forex Chasers 3.0 course because we have hit the sweet spot in between discretionary and systematic trading. Now, to kick things off, guys, if you haven't subscribed, definitely do subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, give this video a like after you've watched until the end and have received your value. So to kick things off, guys, let's talk about discretionary trading versus systematic trading. Now, what is discretionary trading? Discretionary trading is simply trading based off your own personal discretion. Obviously, there are rules and guidelines that one does follow, but those rules and guidelines are open, purely open to your discretion as a trader. So at the end, you're making those decisions based off your own subjective interpretation. Now, what we have after that, obviously the contrary is, would be systematic trading. Now, all systematic trading is, is having defined rules for every single thing that you're doing. Now, obviously I'm talking about the extremes here, that discretionary trading is just using your subjective experience, your subjective interpretation, and, disc uh, and systematic trading is basically having defined rules that are not open to your own personal interpretation. Now, I'm gonna speak a little bit about the pros and the cons of each, and then I'm gonna show you guys where you should be, what kind of a trading system really honestly works in this day and age, and what kind of a trading system we also use here as the Forex Chasers. Now, to get into things, guys, discretionary trading, obviously, like I said, involves you making those decisions based off your own interpretation, though you do need those rules to actually define what you're doing. So, for example, maybe you would define your for example, your, your processes and say that I'm trading reversal structures like double tops and stuff. But when you're executing and when you're looking for your, your structures and your confirmations, all of that stuff is still open to your own personal interpretation of whether the market is trending up, whether the market is trending down, all of those extra stuff. Now that is discretionary trading. Now on the other hand, systematic trading does not open you up or pure systematic trading does not open you up to actually making those decisions based off your own personal interpretation. An example of a systematic trade would be someone that maybe has an algorithm that then programs the algorithm that every time moving averages cross buy or sell. Something like that is does not open to up does not open up to any subjective interpretation, but it's an if then type of approach. If this happens, then do that. Now, what we've done as the forex chasers is that we have hit the sweet spot in between these two types of trading. Now, we have created obviously established definitive rules as to how we trade, the concepts that we use, things like nature's theory, things like corrective structures, continuation structures, things like isolating structures and basically looking at momentum, looking at candlesticks. We have those objective rules, guys. Those things that keep us in line that tell us that if this happens, then this happens. Now, what we've also done is incorporated a discretionary type of approach where we systematically look for these setups every single time when they when obviously they present themselves and then when we are executing the execution part boils down to your own personal discretion first of all you're going to apply your system your systematic rules of risk management does this setup that you are looking at fall within your risk management criteria if your question is yes then you move on to the next step does this setup meet your entry criteria list if the question is yes, so do you see how we're still incorporating this whole discretionary approach in a systematic way where you're following objective rules, making sure that you're sticking to the plan that you have, obviously making sure that you're sticking to the whole system, the Forex Chaser system, and then also opening this up to your own personal interpretation because what this does, guys, the moment us as human beings add our own personal interpretation within there, it allows us to kind of cherry pick those setups. Now, if we had a purely systematic approach, we would just be taking every double top that presented itself and every double bottom that presented itself. But now that we have opened our strategy up to a more of a discretionary type of execution, what we do is we then are able to cherry pick those those, those setups. Now we're able to look and use our own discretion and say that this setup does give me these rules 
but the setup doesn't look like the appropriate textbook setup that I would like to take and therefore I'm not going to take this trade and by doing that guys we're able to kind of there's a trade-off between um, trading systematically and trading discretionary when you trade discretionary there's something called an opportunity cost and all an opportunity cost is how much it how much you pay to actually be right or to actually be profitable and a system that uses a discretionary approach has a smaller opportunity cost why because you don't have to pay a lot you don't have to involve yourself in a lot of losses to find those nice wins because you're opening that up to your own discretion to cherry pick those setups now obviously contrary a systematic approach has a high opportunity high has a high opportunity cost what that means is that because you're taking every single setup that that, that presents itself that aligns with your system it means that because there's no discretionary there's no discretion involved obviously market circumstances are always changing and because market circumstances change if you're using a purely systematic approach you'll involve yourself or you'll be caught in situations where the market is just not conducive for the strategy that you're trading but because your trading is systematic you still have to execute based off the rules that you've created so that you can see the rewards that obviously match with your back testing now what we've done by incorporating these two things is obviously develop a more or rather i'd say a bigger edge a more discretionary approach with a systematic rule based structure that we're trading that we're following and obviously guys i hope you have learned something from this video but if you obviously want to go further into this whole way of thinking because really guys we actually changing is a mindset trading is a whole mindset change you obviously need to change the person that you are now and become someone different to be able to obviously accommodate and be that trader that you would like to be now the forex chasers 3.0 course obviously has all of that down for you it gives you the whole systematic structure that we use in the forex chasers office to obviously eat i'm sure you guys have seen the videos where we say we're eating we're eating and this and that guys that's all just us using the systematic approach that the course teaches and obviously adding our own personal discretion because the way our course is structured is that it accommodates anyone if you feel like you have a short temperament and you want to scalp the, the course is for you it still accommodates for those structures for that scalping if you feel like you want to be a swing trader the course is still for you because it accommodates for that and allows you to add your own discretion on top of that now obviously guys we at the end of this video drop this video a like if you have received some type of direction something that's going to help you become a better trader obviously subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed so that you can continue to get all of this value that we're dishing out to you guys on the daily and otherwise guys share this video to someone that you think deserves to see this and deserves to be a better trader otherwise this is Tremaine your FX Chasers mentor I'll see you guys in the future videos cheers